My guest right now, Glenn Close. Glenn, so good to see you again. Nice to see you again. Thank you. The role you play in Fatal Attraction is not exactly the kind of role that your film fans, I don't think, would, would, would think of you in. Was this, for you, one of the things that perhaps drew you to it? I think so, yeah. I thought it was about time to kind of stir up the waters a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much of a challenge was this role for you as an actress? It was, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a total challenge, and that's what I loved about it. Mm -hmm. um, there's never really anything uh, that explains why she does what she does, and so I was absolutely determined to root this character in in reality. So I prepared um, with three different psychiatrists and did extensive research and talking to construct a psychiatric history so that I knew I'd say, no, if somebody did this, what possibly in their past could have happened to uh, result in this kind of behavior? And that mm -hmm. was fascinating. And um, they put things in my mind that helped me subliminally and, and you know, immediately um, in doing some of the scenes. And so in that since you use, correct me if I'm wrong, you use a script then as, as sort of a, a springboard to, as, as sort of a, a guidepost then. Yeah. And that was very well written. Mm -hmm. So well written that I thought that the, the author had done all this extensive research himself. <laughs> I don't know if he actually did, but it was just beautifully, instinctively written. Yeah. And, uh, um, I, 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 I grew to have great sympathy for the character and, and great affection. Well, you know, so does the audience, and I think that's one of the interesting things about this film when, when audiences see it, mm -hmm. is that uh, I think we can obviously say without fear of giving anything away that, that you play a disturbed woman in this yeah. movie, and yet, as you say, we understand, or at least we think we understand, a lot of what she does and a lot of things you say in the film make sense yeah. completely. Mm -hmm. So whether that's due to um, uh, the script, to your research, to your uh, artistry as an actress, whatever, it certainly comes across. No, I think what's fascinating about her is that, is that what she does say is true, mm -hmm. but then there comes a moment where she just tips, you know, mm -hmm. over, over the edge. This really would apply not only to the script for Fatal Attraction, but to any script, be it for a play, for television, for films. Is there a part in any script where you know you want to do it? Is there that? Uh, uh, I mean, a moment when I'm yeah. actually reading it? Right. Um, yeah, probably there is. I can't remember when I was reading the script the exact scene or moment mm. where I thought this is for me. Usually, the overall story has to really, really get me viscerally, uh -huh. and um, this certainly did. And then the more I thought about it, uh, the more I really thought it would be uh, a wonderful challenge and very exciting to, to, to do it. Before you begin a play or a film, do you have to have that, do you have to, to, to be able to grab onto that hook of the character? Or does it sometimes does that happen later later on? In other words, I've had people tell me when they're doing a play that sometimes it's maybe three weeks into the play before they really latch on to the the core of that character they're doing. Yeah, I think that's true. I think if you have the luxury of being in a play for a nice long run, then you think four months into the run, ah, that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful ongoing. Yeah. growing situation. Movies are a little bit different. You don't have that luxury of time, of exp exploration. Mm -hmm. And so I think I t depend tremendously on my director and my fellow actors and on the spontaneity of the moment mm -hmm. and on, you know, preparing, pre-production preparing. Yeah. And then I'm learning more and more that the, the more open you are, the better off you are in movies. I mean, it's a very spontaneous media. Sure. How objective are you about your own work? Hmm. I don't know how objective any actor could really be about their own work. It's very, very difficult. It's, uh, 
I'm I'm finding it more and more difficult to uh, look at myself. <laughs> I guess that's why I like theater so much. You don't have to look at yourself. <laughs> um, but you have to, I think, maintain a, as a, a certain ob objectivity because you don't learn unless you do. Mm -hmm. You can pick up mannerisms or you can want to correct or um, just you know learn from yeah. observing. But uh, it's very difficult. You started out in films with a wonderful director, I think one of the best, George Roy Hill. Mm -hmm. um, do you find yourself learning from each director? Obviously, there's going to be a, for want of a better term, a, a clunker director along the way somewhere. But hopefully, you learn from each director, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I seek direction. I love it. I love to be asked to do many, you know, something many different ways. I think it's a great exercise. Uh, I love creative friction. I love when people, when you have a, a, tr a wonderful team of very talented people and you know you don't take anything personally because you know that everybody wants to make a wonderful film and then you can really go to it, you know, and it's thrilling. And that's what we had in Fatal Attraction. Yeah. And you do want a thrilling wanna, collaboration. And you do want to maintain, though, uh, a closeness with the stage, I would have said. Absolutely, yeah. Once again, congratulations on Fatal Attraction. I think it's, uh, you give a superb performance in it. And uh, I hope we talk again soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. What? What do you think of? I was wondering why is it that all the interesting guys are always married? Well, maybe that's why you find them interesting, the fact you can't have them. How long have you been married? Nine years. Do you have any kids? Mm-hmm. Got a six-year-old girl. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm lucky. So what are you doing here? I think you're terrific. <laughs> <laughs>